హలో సో దిస్ ఇస్ అమన్ శర్మ అండ్ ఐ బీ ఆన్సరింగ్ అ ఫ్యూ క్వశ్చన్స్ దట్ యూ హ్యాడ్ రిగార్డింగ్ రిగార్డింగ్ ఇంజనీరింగ్ ఫిజిక్స్ ఇన్ ఐటీ బాంబే సో యా లెట్ స్టార్ట్ సో ద ఫస్ట్ క్వశ్చన్ ఐ హ్యావ్ ఇస్ వాట్ రీజన్స్ డూ డ్రూ యూ టువర్డ్స్ టేకింగ్ ఇంజనీరింగ్ ఫిజిక్స్ ఆఫ్టర్ జై సో ద థింగ్ ఇస్ ఆఫ్టర్ జై ఐ టుక్ అప్ మటీరియల్ సైన్స్ అండ్ ఆఫ్టర్ అ ఇయర్ ఐ చేంజ్ మై బ్రాంచ్ టు ఇంజనీరింగ్ ఫిజిక్స్ సో ద రీజన్ ఇంట did that was because after looking at the curriculum i felt that uh, engineering physics uh, offered a much more diverse curriculum and since i wasn't really certain what i wanted to do after graduation i thought that be the best bet to go ahead with right uh, the second question i have is since ep has been one of the research oriented branches in the institute how would you like to describe your research experience here tell us about your summer internship okay right so the thing is ep is quite diverse in sense of course it's research oriented for people who want to get into core physics that's obviously a thing there are also engineering aspects to it as in uh, a, a lot of a lot of people do get into electrical and electronic engineering uh, a, a lot of people also get into data ana- analytics because a lot of um the a lot of thing that you will train in in ep is to analyze data uh with regards to physics that would be experimental data but same techniques are used in other aspects as well so uh, a lot of people get interested in data analytics and financing for that uh you know from that so uh, saying ep is strictly and research oriented branch is uh, a bit misleading but that being said it's definitely one of the more heavier uh branches focused on research uh as far as my summer internship experience was uh yeah it was in the graduate uh, university uh, in sokendai so that's in japan so my experience was mostly to work with again uh data that came out of this uh, neutron accelerator and some material analysis from it so yeah uh, so that that pro is so like once i was there it gave a very broad picture of you know how physics can be applied to things not restricted to physics so yeah uh, I, i think there will be question that so I'll, i'll just go ahead with those right uh, if a person is not completely interested in his or her core branch uh, how much effort will it take to put in in order to perform decently after the span of 4s right so as far as ep goes it's uh yeah so even the core is pretty diverse so it's hard to find someone you know who'll have who won't find anything interesting in the entire core but yeah there are definitely people you know who are interested in uh things outside of engineering or physics itself so for, even for those people uh, physics offers a lot of math and a lot of statistics that helps them in these other fields so yeah but as far as effort goes in having a decent performance uh it's not a lot uh, as uh, as compared to some other branches uh but it it's not completely uh tame as well. it has a lot of you'll have to put in a some extent of effort uh, but it's not exceptionally uh, hard as well right uh has your department allow you an exposure in extracurricular activities if yes uh, what uh, did i pursue in the nst apart from academics right so uh, as far as extracurricular activities in the institute are concerned it's mm, your department has a really small part to play in it in the sense uh it's more on you will be more on you to the extent of courses and academics you want to take up a uh, trading of your extracurricular activities uh, so the department's core courses which you have to take uh, aren't a lot and aren't really heavy so it does give you a lot of free time if you seriously want to pursue some of your extracurricular activities right uh, i did take part in a lot of extracurricular curricular activities throughout my stay in the institute uh, i was an editor at insight our uh, student media body 
I was also a part of Mood Indigo and I dabbled a lot in theatre as well. So yeah, so uh, it's more on how you want to handle your free time. Uh, you always have the option in physics to, you know, take up more academics and, uh, you know, restrict your free time. But there's also the option of uh, uh, not taking up your extra courses uh, instead, you know, diverting your time towards these extracurricular activities. Right. So the next, there's a common myth that EP is a research oriented branch and therefore not very relevant for people who seek non-core opportunities. Who did I this this notion? Right, I think I already addressed this. Um, yeah, but just to reiterate that, EP provides you with a lot of things which you which might be applicable in other branches as well, uh, including non-core. But but the case is you have to you'll have to put in a, uh, that slight effort to make the connection there. So yeah, that, that's definitely one thing. Uh, right, finally, what are your plans after graduation? Oh, okay. So I got interested in the research aspect of it and I've decided to uh, go for a doctoral program in the University of California in San Diego where I'll pursue my PhD in physics, uh, focusing on biophysics. So yeah. That's my plan ahead. Right. So I think that covers most of the questions. Uh, good luck and have a happy stay in the institute.